Pretty great weather picture to start the day, but there are signs that we are going to see some nice clearing and, and with that uh, enjoy something a little warmer for us. We've uh, been actually doing relatively well uh, with temperatures. We managed to see enough sun to push the mercury into the 60s yesterday. Today, I think we'll, we'll do a little better getting closer to the seasonal average. 70 incidentally is that average high this time of the year. We'll be in that range later on. Gray skies in Austin right now. That's our Lewiston auto camera there from the studio. 54 right now here in Northwest Rochester. East winds on the light side. A lot of clouds hanging around, but we're going to start seeing these little peaks of sunshine and then some gradual clearing by mid morning. There is a fair amount of sun in store for the day and that's going to help us warm from a actually relatively warm level already this morning into the low 70s this afternoon. So kind of room temperature weather here for this uh, uh, second to last uh, Wednesday in the month of May. Air pressure is steady, 30.13 inches of mercury. 54 right now in Rochester, 57 in Austin, uh, Charles City, 55 degrees. From here, we're looking at 70s, but the clouds are in place right now. Uh, future track uh, satellite radar, a lot of clouds around. There's that storm system that's been plaguing the region for days and brought heavy rain to Chicago, parts of uh, Cincinnati area, across portions of Indiana. Still producing showers across parts of Kentucky and uh, the uh, the uh, Appalachian states, uh, but well, we're still dealing with leftover cloud cover from that system. Not a lot of uh, drying uh, going on with that subsidence from high pressure to our east, and not enough of that to really scour out the clouds so far. But I think finally we will have some progress in that regard today. So finally we're going to see some breaks of cloud cover, and then tomorrow limited sun again. Though clouds will return. Next storm system is still churning away to the west, taking days to get here because this pattern is being held up. It's kind of a, a blocking pattern, they call it. So in other words, things is not allowed to move along. So just stagnant as that storm system to our, uh, southeast is evidence of that. But cloudy and cool today. Eventually some sun We're looking at midweek sun through much of the day today and a little bit tomorrow. Then some warm wet weather for the weekend. Gray skies for the morning commute. Peaks of sun begin to break through, though. I think we'll see at least some sun in portions of the area. Uh, 54 that morning commute or east winds 10 miles per hour. Temperatures across the region definitely warmer than recent days. That warmth has been slowly building in. 54 right now in Rochester, 57 in Des Moines, uh, Minot 55, North Platte 55 as well. From the 50s, we'll see increasing sun by afternoon. Look at 71, eventually 72 by late in the day. So 835 the sunset between now and then we start seeing room temperature weather come back tonight. Staying in the 50s with clouds slowly building back in. But here's future track. Cloud cover this morning, go to the mid morning hours, start seeing some breaks of sunshine, that slightly drier air coming out of the Great Lakes. And then we see a lot of sunshine across the air this afternoon, especially in southern Minnesota. North Iowa may take a little longer to see that clearing tonight. Partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the 50s, and then tomorrow clouds begin to drift in from the west ahead of that next weather maker. So limited sun, peaks of sunshine, uh, a fairly mild southeast breeze, still managing low 70s tomorrow. And then showers from the west begin to sneak in. A few of those will make their way into the area by late Friday ahead of that storm system, but very light shower activity. And then looking out of the weekend, another storm system brings shower chances and some scattered storms Saturday and Sunday. But at this point, Memorial Day itself looks mainly dry with maybe a slight chance of a brief shower around sunrise. But I think at this point, even earlier than that. Uh, so there will be some showers over the weekend, but uh, certainly a warmer schedule or outlook uh, for our uh, time frame here uh, as we look at some of those readings in the coming days uh, at or above seasonal average. This time of the year around 70 is that average. We're going to be in the upper 70s, low 80s for much of the next week. 72 in Rochester today, 74 in Austin. A little bit of uh, extra cloud cover North Iowa keeps temperatures a little cooler there in Charles City and Algona. Otherwise, look for some sunshine in the afternoon. 72 the expected high. Tonight, partly cloudy, 52. A seven day forecast looking at uh, some 70s and then maybe a shot at 80 over the weekend, but there will be scattered shower and storm chances, especially Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Memorial Day itself actually looks pretty good with temperatures in the 70s and a lot of sunshine. Really for the next week in terms of high temperatures, we're not dropping below 70. No, we're looking pretty good. It's uh, at or above the average and we're getting uh, primed for some June weather at this point. Sounds good to me. Thank you.